at the mid-court stripe. Top of the key, three seconds to go. Top of the key, three, wide left, no good. The Bison win. The Bison are going back to the big dance. For the second consecutive year, the Bison men's basketball team captured the Summit League title and went dancing in the NCAA tournament. About everyone that plays college basketball, it's a dream to go to the NCAA tournament. So once you get that feeling once, you're going to want it again. While there is a chance for a three-peat for NDSU, the only focus for the team currently is today. Progress. You know, we've got to not worried about anything other than ourselves getting better every day together, whether it be a practice, a film session, or a game. You know, as a Bison, that's what we do. You know, we keep pushing through, we keep getting better, and we don't worry about the past. We just look for the future, and we work to get better every day. L.A. left side, a catch and shoot, three, it's good! Lawrence Alexander is on fire! Last year's Summit League Player of the Year, Lawrence Alexander, has graduated, leaving a gap in production that needs to be filled. Something the Bison can do with four starters returning from last year's team, along with Summit League Sixth Man of the Year, Dexter Werner. You know, we're not going to look to replace him with one guy or two guys. You know, we're going to look to replace him as a whole team, as a whole unit, and, you know, keep getting better as a unit instead of, you know, worrying about one guy replacing the scoring. During the summer, NDSU traveled to the Bahamas for three games, but also had ten important practices before the trip. And ultimately, that was probably more important to us than as a program to get those practices in than going down there and playing. You know, playing was the reward, and it was one thing, you know, we, we learned a lot about our young guys, and uh, we learned a lot about who we are as a team. The Bison were projected to finish second in the Summit League preseason poll, but that number means nothing to this basketball team. Expectations that, you know, um, the outside public might put on, the media might put on us because of what we've done, but this is a new group, and, and the beauty of it is we get to go tee it up here and, and, and define who we are as a group. NDSU's first action of the year will come in Fargo when the Bison take on the University of Mary in an exhibition game on Wednesday, November 4th at 7 p.m. in Shields Arena. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Roy.